Hello everyone, you are on the Moby channel and I am glad to see you on my channel again. As you can see from the title in this video, I invited my colleagues to discuss what will happen in the fourth part of episode 67. And yes, if you don't know, in my analysis of the third part of episode 67, I made a mistake with the fact that it was the final part, Dafigbum confirmed that the fourth part would be, well, let's welcome our guests. Hello everyone and enjoy watching. Hey everyone, Isotoilet is here and today we're going to break down all the Skibidi secrets. That's right, Isotoilet. Today we will talk about very interesting topics and perhaps reveal some secrets. But before you start, put a like on this video. Let's get 10,000 likes on it. If you want to see guests on my channel more often, and also subscribe to the channel. Because there are not so many subscribers left before the 300,000 mark. We here we go. So the first question I would like to ask you is. What do you think we can see in part 4 of Skibbity Toilet 67? Because part 3 has come to a logical conclusion. Do you think that Dafig is planning to show us some kind of plot twist? I think there should definitely be something unexpected in the new episode and I have a few options. First we don't know what happened to the special agents after they appeared at the TV men base and we are very likely to see that in the new episode. Secondly we realize that the Skibidi scientist was just a puppet. But then where's the real one? Well I guess we might also see G-Man come back with an army of his clones because I'm sure there might be more of them than we think. It's very interesting. We really don't know what happened to the elite squad of agents. I hope that everything is fine with them and we will see them soon. And as for the scientist's titan, he really was a fake. And by the way, you could see the number 2 on his laser. This figure was also on him from the first part of episode 67. Perhaps this means that the titan scientist who was killed by the updated titan TV man was the second copy of the scientist. Databeo, what do you think about this issue? It seems to me that Mr. DeFuke said that there will be a fourth part for a reason. This means that something important will happen in the fourth part, and I think that TV Man Titan will want to seriously talk to the speaker men after the incident in episode 47, and I think in the next episode they will show us what will happen next with the Titans. And even perhaps we will see new enemies from the toilets. Because I think that the toilet base is very important for them, and they need to protect it. But who knows? Indeed, no one except Daffig himself knows what will happen but we will still try to guess future events. Now we turn to the second interesting question what other abilities do you think the updated Titan TV man has, because in part 3 of episode 67 we were shown only a small part of it. I think that he still has some trump cards up his sleeve since when TV man appeared in episode 41, we were not immediately shown his abilities, but were shown this over several episodes. But so far it is very difficult to assume anything, but I think that he also has an energy shield the same as that of the cameraman, and perhaps a new type of hypnosis, since the TV woman has a yellow light that can burn enemies and I think the TV man titan has something similar. Perhaps you will be right, I also think that the updated titan will have several types of radiation. Isa Toilet, what do you think? I think titan TV man definitely has a jetpack or just a turbine for flying. He also has some sort of brass knuckles on his arm, we've seen that as well. But I think his most powerful ability we saw on Dafuk's Seuss leak, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, he definitely has this ability. I assume that the agents of TV Mans with the scientist TV Man were not just absent for a very long time, I think they provided for moments with enemy clones. As I said earlier, perhaps one of the abilities of the updated Titan TV Man will be the ability to clone, perhaps he will be able to create his own clones and they will fight like a Titan. But we will find out the exact information only in the following episodes. Well, let's move on to the third question. Do you think the Titans cameraman and speaker man will get new updates? Personally I think that they can get an update, but not a big one since they already received good improvements, and if they are improved further then the mutants will have no chance of winning and it won't be interesting. But maybe the mutants will come up with something new and the scientists will have to improve our Titans. But for now it's not clear to us what will happen to the Titans in part 4 of episode 67, so I think we'll find out everything when the new episode comes out. Thanks to Databeo, and what does Isa Toilet think about this issue? I'm sure the Titans were injured just to disappear from the new episodes for a while and create intrigue for us. Boom knows for sure that audiences love to wait for some cool improvements, and they're ready to talk about it for weeks and even months. So yeah, we'll definitely be waiting for the Titans to be repaired and improved for many more episodes, and then we'll be excited for their new appearance on the show again. You're both definitely right. We analysts and viewers really like to see the return of old heroes, especially since it is even more pleasant for us to see them when they return refreshed, improved, and stronger. 
I think that in the next episodes we will see a very interesting plot twist. I assume that the real Titans will be taken to the laboratory to fix them and give improvements, but instead of themselves, the Titans will leave their counterparts, they will look the same as them, but there will be small differences so that the audience can understand that this is a clone, not the original Titan. But all these are my theories, I do not claim that everything will be as I said. And it's time for the final question, which sounds like this. What do you think happened to the plunger cameraman? Did he survive and can we see him in part 4 of episode 67 of Skibbity Toilet? I'm sure that the plunger man survived. Mr. Boom just didn't show him so that we would worry about him. The plunger man only appeared not long ago and there is no point in killing him right now. I think that he is a very important character and I am sure that we will see him in four parts of episode 67. But if it turns out that TV Man is a traitor, then perhaps he will kill the Plunger Man. But don't worry, the chance of this happening is very small. But as always, Duffook Boom is very unpredictable and anything can happen. Plunger Cameraman is definitely one of the main characters of this series. And what does Isa Toilet think about this? Plunger Man definitely survived, I have no doubt about that. Duffook just couldn't destroy one of his most popular characters like that. I'm more interested in the future of Simp Cameraman and Mech Cameraman, to be honest. It's been a long time since we've seen them on the show, and I'm really looking forward to an incredible twist and the return of Simp Cameraman as one of the important characters. Whether he will be a villain or a cool dude, it's gonna be legendary, not gonna lie. To be honest, I'm also looking forward to the return of the Simp Cameraman, and I still think that he went over to the dark side. I also think that it was he who passed all the leaks to the opponents. After all, as far as I know, Simp Cameraman has already been in the third episode of Skibbity Toilet and he knows a lot about agents and titans. It is possible that he helped the original scientist create a clone of the scientist and also create a hypnotic TV and toxic weapons, because he himself has experienced these situations and knows a lot about it. What do you think, friends? Write your theories in the comments and the most interesting ones will probably get into my next video. I also assume that the fourth part of episode 67 will be the final part of episode 67. And despite the fact that the episode has not yet been fully completed, Dafug has already started posting shorts versions of episode 67, so watch them carefully, because there may be secrets hidden there that are not in the full screen version. I also assume that we will not wait for the fourth part as long as we waited for the first, second, and third parts. I think that the fourth part may be released this Saturday or Sunday. But this is again just my theory, so be sure to keep an eye on the Defuga online store, because recently it is there that the newest leaks of information about future episodes appear. Well, this video is coming to an end, I am very grateful to my colleagues for being able to participate in this video. Thank you all for your attention, and that was me, ISO Toilet. see ya! Thank you for the invitation Moby, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye bye. Thank you all for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel as well as to the channels of my colleagues, you were on the Moby channel, see you soon.